Hey, you ever open up a fortune cookie and add the, uh, the old in bed? Uh, no. What? You never heard of that? The hell is that? Oh, oh, come on. You know, like, you open up a fortune cookie and it says, tomorrow you will be reborn in bed. What's the in bed shit oh, about? Come oh, come on, man. You get it. You know, like, like, uh, you were gonna have a, uh, eye-opening experience that'll change your life in bed. Already had that. What? No, you gotta add the in bed. It's comedy, man. It's humor. It'll, it's, it lightens the mood. Dude, I had a threesome in bed. You got a threesome? In bed! What? Where else would you have a threesome? I don't know. No, stagecoach? What are you talking about? Of course it's gonna be in bed. Maybe in a car. Cause you fit, maybe in your caddy you could fit three people in a car. Cause that's the only car that I know that you could have a threesome in. The only thing I want my fortune cookie to say is, uh, you will be going home tomorrow in one piece. In bed. In bed. That doesn't work. That doesn't work, Irish. You gotta, no. You said it's a fuck, it's my fortune. I can say what the fuck I want. To, I can have to say what I wanted to say, Pac. It would never say that. A fortune cookie would never say that. How do you know? Did you make fortune cookies now? I know that they would never say, it's ridiculous. Oh, so you're, you're the authority on fortune cookies. Well, the, the fortune cookies weren't made for us. They're not gonna say you're gonna be home safe in bed. That doesn't make any sense. The in bed thing always works with legit fortune cookies. My fortune says Pac will shut the fuck up in the fucking bed. Uh, in the fucking uh, whatever, bed. whatever, man. Whatever. What's up, guys? Undertoast back again for a commentary. I have not done a commentary for a long time where I actually get to speak from me to you, the viewers. So that's this will be very interesting. Uh, quick side note before I start. Um, I haven't done a commentary for quite some time, so I apologize if it is a bit rickety. <laughs> anyway, the footage you're seeing in the background is Battlefield 4. Um, as some of you may know, uh, the new DLC expansion, China Rising, is just released a couple a couple days ago, about 10 days ago, or something like that. No, I can't recall exactly. Um, anyway, this is Rush on Altair Range. It's an awesome map. I really, really enjoy it. I had a really awesome run going right here. Um, you'll notice this is actually all one clip. I haven't died yet. I'm not bragging or anything. Don't. I'm not that type of person that tries to brag for a game. Don't worry. But uh, I was surprised I survived quite as long as I did. That was really surprising to me. Anyway, um, I guess I'll move on to my quick impressions of Battlefield 4 so far and things that are going on in my life and all that lovely stuff that you guys probably don't want to hear. <laughs> anyway, Battlefield 4. I feel it's been a, almost almost a solid two months, uh, 20 days short. Um, well, more than 20 days, but you get my point. Since the game was released, and um, it had a pretty interesting start. It was quite wobbly. I, for one, was losing connection to almost every third game I joined. I was just dropped. It, it was, that was really aggravating. It was really hard for me to get really just into any game. That was, that was the main thing that was bothering me. Luckily, with the patches that DICE has been rolling out in the past couple days, they've been extremely helpful in whatever, in uh, what they're doing recently. It's, it's great to see that they're really trying hard to make this game what it's meant to be. So with the latest patches that have been released, um, I do feel like I have not been crashing nearly as much. I do feel like they've fixed a lot of those client side issues. Um, there's are there still are some server crashes I'm experiencing, but they're very few and far between. Nothing nothing like as common as before. So as I, I don't even know if that's English what I just said there. Whatever. So that that was huge for me. I'm so glad that they fixed the server issues, the client issues for the most part. Of course it's still there's still some issues because for users on PC, it is much more difficult than patching PC compared to console because PC users have so much different hardware. You know, it's it's amazing that they can't even do what they're doing right now. And uh, so I'm very glad that's happening. Um, my impressions of the gameplay. I feel like the gameplay is fantastic. I, for one, would not change a thing. I feel like it's perfect the way it is. I really hope they don't balance anything out. Besides the fact that a lot of people play Recon, I really don't see any problem with it. I feel like the gunplay is very solid, fluid. I really, really enjoy it. Um, Battlefield 3 is really starting to dawn on me um, the last couple months before Battlefield 4 came out and the beta was released. I, it was really just bothering me how inaccurate your gun was and how hard it was to shoot someone. Some people might claim that it's skill um, I don't think that's skill at all when your gun literally becomes more inaccurate as someone shooting you. That just doesn't seem very skillful to me to be able to... Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I don't want to start Flame Warrior. But um, I do feel like it's much more um, solid in this game. Much more fun for me, personally. I really enjoy it. Um, 
this is the assault class I'm running with the L85 with the muzzle brake, uh, laser sight, red red dot sight, and ergo grip, which are by far my favorite attachments. I have quite a number of attachments actually unlocked for this gun, They're ranging from the stubby grip to different types of sights like the uh, coyote. So I mostly have almost every attachment. I just feel like these are the best. I don't know why exactly, perhaps it's because I just started with these and they just worked really well when I started with them, so I just don't want to change them. Um, I feel like the muzzle grip is an excellent attachment. I've been using that on almost every gun I use. Even the MTAR, which I use for the engineer class, it's it's a fantastic attachment. It Oh man, I ergo grip, laser sight, muzzle brake are by far my favorite attachments used for any weapon I can put them on. <laughs> Including shotguns and all. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic. Um, single player impressions. I guess we'll move on to that. Um, I wasn't too impressed. Just, just putting it out there. I was not impressed with the single player campaign. I'm not sure how many people were, um, but me personally, I was not quite impressed with it. I do feel like it was. They tried. I give them that. They definitely tried. Uh, definitely much more effort. I feel than. Battlefield 3's, I feel they definitely tried to stride for a much more character driven story, which I think is great, it's just, it's not my personal, f uh, you know, taste, I would, I prefer Battlefield 3's campaign much more over Battlefield 4's, just because, in my personal opinion, I really enjoy the authenticity of Battlefield 3, you know, the feeling that you're just a regular soldier, you're nothing more, that's, that's it, you're just Sergeant Blackburn, you're in Misfit Squad, and you do shit. Besides the nuke, that was a little dramatized, but um, I do feel like it was just your regular soldier fighting it out in the war, and I felt that was awesome. I really enjoyed that, but you know, I'm, I was kind of, I just didn't like the setting in the campaign, so that's just, yeah, yeah. Whatever they do is not really impress me unless it's just regular soldiers and all. So, yeah, don't, just ignore my opinion on single player. It's completely irrelevant. Um, multiplayer, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Definitely would recommend it. I mean, it's a solid buy. Just the multiplayer. If you're gonna buy this game for a campaign, I don't know who would, but just don't, just don't, just flat out don't. It's not worthy. Um, multiplayer is definitely worth it. Anyway, I'm done with Battlefield 4 talk. Um, probably do some more in the future, uh, depending on what you guys think. Uh, anyway, as for other stuff going on, like my channel <laughs> uploads have been pretty sparse. Uh, apologize for that. Um, as I said, my schedule is loosened up. It's definitely much more time than I had uh, before, but it still is quite packed. Uh, midterms, you know, the whole nine yards. You, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. You don't want to hear my life lecture here. Um, basically, I just wanted to clear up some things like Arma 2 United Operations. Uh, that is a, that's a really cool community. That I generally play on weekends, so if there is going to be any Arma 2 United Operations gameplay, it will more than likely be up... Saturday, Sunday-ish, but no promises, because uh, I, I tried to get some gameplay over the weekend, past weekend, but uh, I don't really have anything that was really entertaining to me, so I don't think I should upload it. Uh, I probably won't upload it. Usually I only upload the stuff that I really find interesting to me. Like, if I find a snippet of gameplay that I find interesting, I'll usually upload it. Sometimes, you know, the Paratrooper Life of a Paratrooper video was, I just wanted to test out the uncut, just see, like, the whole mission start to uh, start, start to finish. So that was that was interesting. I don't know if I want to do any more like that though, because that was oh, nearly an hour, and I don't think anyone wants to sit through an hour-long video. So probably do some um, short segments of just the good action part, uh, so you guys don't have to wait through that. Um, and that is really it. I mean, I don't really have much else to say. Um, I am working on another Arma 2 cinematic project for those of you that are here for my cinematics. I appreciate it a lot. I work really hard on those, and I really want to, you know, thank you guys for sticking around and to watch those. I mean, the time I put into those, I really want to thank you guys again. Anyway, um, I am working on another, another cinematic. I'm talking way too fast. I apologize. Um, it's kind of a one-year anniversary, per se, to a video that was released, <laughs> well, a year ago. And it's by far my most popular video on my channel, if that's a hint in itself. Um, so, look out for that. Uh, for, you, for those of you that are here for my cinematics, uh, rest assured, there are, they are still are coming. They're not gone. Don't worry. I still love making them. I will continue to make them as long as I have ideas. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you didn't make it this far in this horrible commentary, I wanna, I'm gonna personally give you a gold star someday. Don't you worry. <laughs> Please leave a like and or comment if you enjoyed. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.